हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू वॉक यू थ्रू माई कम्प्लीट इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस एट एमेजॉन फॉर एस डी वन रोल सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो लेट्स स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द बिगनिंग हेयर इज माई इंटरव्यू रोड मैप सो माई इनिशियल प्रिपरेशन स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम फोकसिंग प्राइमरली ऑन टू एरियाज दैट्स डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड एल्गोरिथम्स विच वी सी एस डी एस ए and the leadership principles which are asked as behavioral questions in amazon so here lps are also as important as dsa so we need to get prepared for both dsa was my daily habit so i practice questions on platforms like lead code and interview bit paying special attention to the edge cases and time complexity and also i made sure that i could explain my thought process clearly after solving each question so that i do not face any problem in the interview by explaining my approach to the interviewer so here three things to remember in dsa first practice the question so that you get the patterns second you need to understand how to get the time complexity of the code which you are writing and third explain the thought process clearly explain each and every thought which comes to your mind to the interview and also explain how you thought the co- code before writing it so that you are thorough enough with the interviewer it's like one on one conversation rather than just the interview so that interviewer is also involved and the interview goes smooth after preparing this there was my first technical round where i was asked the line sweep algorithm so the question was based on scheduling the rooms for the interviews and in the overlapping intervals we need to assign the other room so for this problem line sweep algorithm was used and we needed to focus on the edge cases as well so i discussed first of all my approach with the interviewer i discussed the time complexity and when it seemed good to him then we started to code before that you shouldn't code you should first explain your approach to the interviewer if he or she is not satisfied with the time complexity of that code then think of some better approach when a better approach comes to your mind and you know okay this is the approach uh, from which you can't go beyond then just start with that approach and start coding after explaining the whole approach the time complexity and why you think this approach would work to the interviewer and next i was asked some questions based on my previous experiences and uh, we need to answer it through the leadership principles so for the leadership principles there is used the star method where we first think of the situation the task the action and then the result so like this if you form your answers you will go in a straight away approach and you will not get stuck in any of the answers whenever you are asked some complex questions as well and also for preparing leadership principles you can go through the questions which are commonly asked in amazon i will provide the list in the description and from there you can pick the questions start preparing so that even if a question comes with a twist you can get the answers there as you have prepared almost for all the questions asked in the interview next was my technical round 2 so there were two questions one was stack based problem which was based on the prefix computation and it mainly focused on some edge cases so and the other one was topological sort variation so this was around scheduling the packets and then scheduling those packets which are already present in the list and it was like a directed graph problem which involved computing if there is a cycle or not 
and if there is a cycle then we need to act in a different way if there is not a cycle we need to act in a different way so here it does not involve only your skills or your thinking that you know topological sort or not it involves the thinking that you know what to apply and when so this was a tricky question though but when you get to know that okay this is the question of topological sort it was too easy to solve next one was leadership principle and it was also the discussion on previous experiences so just you need to master some common uh, data structures and know the algorithms well and prepare for uh, variations and follow up questions this you can also do by preparing your resume well you can prepare so well that you can answer each and every question if even if the interviewer goes in depth of that question the next was the bar is around it's about uh, the long term potential evaluation so here i was evaluated based on three major principles that were deliver results deep dive learn and be curious so here the bar is a digged into the questions one by one based on my experience once i started sharing my experience she went on digging into complex questions around it and here's how it was done after this it was the waiting game so my interviews were concluded on april 14th and i received offer call on april 19th so my official offer was received on mail on april 21st and uh, this part obviously requires patience and the follow up uh, which you can do through the mail which amazon sends by replying them and the timeline can actually vary so it is not like that i got offer in 5 days so everyone got o- get offer in 5 days itself it may be less than that or more than that so it depends actually on offer to offer and also on some locations so this was my experience for sd1 at amazon and the key takeaways are you need to practice consistently like the dsa and behavioral questions are to be so much practiced that you won't fail there master their lps because you need to know how to get lps into your answers and form stories from your answers storytelling is the most important part here so dsa and storytelling have almost the same weightage so i would prefer that you go through the lps and frame the questions whatever comes to your mind go through the questions available online and also i will share some of the questions here definitely so you can go through them and also explain your thinking process clearly if you are even stuck there just explain to the interviewer okay i am thinking like this maybe i am wrong so he or she would explain you that you are right or wrong and give you the clear path that you need to think in this way at least they would give a hint so they actually help you if you make your thought process more loud and clear and also believe in yourself because your confidence is what you get and if you believe in yourself you can achieve what you want so yeah that's it thanks for watching if you have any questions or doubts you can post in the comments